What's up everybody, KG here, coming at you with a quick video to show you how to do three things. Connect to PulseChain Testnet version V2B, import your tokens, and connect to PulseX to trade your tokens on Testnet. Let's jump right into it. The first thing you're going to do is navigate to MetaMask. If this is your first time on MetaMask, or if you mainly only transact on the Ethereum network, you will be connected to Ethereum by default. I'm using a test account, so all of the tokens I import will have zero balance, but that's okay. If you're using the right address, then you will see your balances. I am already connected to Pulse Chain Testnet, so but I will still walk you through the steps on how to do this. You're gonna click add network and the same exact steps for mobile. Just on mobile, you click the three lines in the top left, settings, and then you can add networks from there. So when you're adding network settings, you wanna make sure that you're getting them from the Pulse Chain Testnet GitLab. I will post this link in the description as well as all these settings. The easiest thing to do, and you could type it out manually, but the easiest thing to do is copy and paste it in the necessary block here. Okay. And you're seeing this red error on my screen because I already have Pulse Chain Testnet connected, but then you can click save. This pop-ups or something else, don't worry about that. You, that. you won't see that. Okay, so Pulse Chain Testnet V2 be added. Oh, great, it added it for me twice. Very cool. All right, so now step one complete. Now let's import our tokens. Fix that a little bit. I'm going to show you how to add three tokens. We're going to add IM, CIMD, and HEX. I will also paste these contract addresses in the description. So you just click import tokens at the bottom, paste your contract address in there, add custom token, import token, go back. Same exact thing for CIMD, copy. Import token, paste, add custom token, import token. And then finally, we'll do hex. And I like to use hex as an example. A, because I'm a hexagon. B, because it shows something pretty cool. This address matches a known Ethereum mainnet address token. And that's because it is. So it's okay. Just type the token symbol. And you may see this for other tokens that are on the Ethereum mainnet. Add custom token. You can see it's clearly hex. Import token. Now, if you want to see balances for IM or hex, you would need to have the wallet connected that was holding the IM or the hex at the time the snapshot was taken for testnet. As far as CIMD, you need to be viewing the wallet that sacrificed for the internet money sacrifice for freedom of time okay let's go ahead and move to step three which is trading our tokens on pulsex this is the address i'll also post it in the description and it's very easy you when you initially populate pulsex i believe this is what it looks like pulse here pulsex there all you have to do is click, and if you don't see the token on the list, CIMD or internet money, which you will likely not, all you have to do is bring the contract address over, paste it there, and you'll be able to add it or import it. Then you connect your wallet, MetaMask, and again, I have zero balance of both because I'm on my test account. 
And sometimes you'll get a little bug here. It'll show another wallet connecting. It won't be the, the same, the wallet that you want to connect. So what you'll have to do is you'll click the MetaMask in the browser extension, and then it'll give you the option to switch between your different wallets there. So that's it. We learned how to connect to PulseChain Testnet version V2B, import tokens, and set ourselves up on PulseX to be able to trade the tokens that we want. I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you all for supporting us and what we do. Thank you all for being Pulse Chainers, Internet Monies, ERS. We'll, we'll work on that. And I hope everyone has a beautiful day. Peace.